Multi-zone presentations allow us to divide the screen into two or more sections or zones that can each display their own content, including pre-recorded or even live video, images, ticker feeds, or a clock. Each window zone contains its own playlist which can be fine-tuned using transitions, background colors, images, and fonts. So let's see how it's done. After opening the Bright Author application, starting a new project, and choosing our settings, we'll choose one of the multi-zone templates. An important note with the multi-zone project is that each zone, or division of the screen, acts as an individual independent presentation. We access each zone by clicking on the thumbnail representation here. Clicking each zone will show the zone's playlist, which we populate and manage, just as we would with a single full screen zone. In this template, Zone 1 is a video and images zone. There can only be one video zone on the screen at any time. Zone 2 is an image zone. For this demonstration, we'll resize both zones 1 and 2 to make room for a third zone that we will add and populate. Switch to layout mode by clicking here. As in the playlist mode, we can select the zone by clicking it in the thumbnail, but here we can also click on the main stage. To resize Zone 1, we'll simply select it and drag the bottom border up. Then we'll do the same for Zone 2. For precise resizing, we can enter exact pixel measurements and position for each zone here. And in just a few seconds, we have resized our existing two zones. Now we're ready to add our third zone. We can add a new zone by clicking here. We want to run a ticker across the bottom, so we'll choose Ticker for the zone type. Now we'll just move and size it to fit in the space that we previously freed up. Now that we have the ticker in place, let's go ahead and set it up. Ticker zones allow us to stream news or announcements from local text files, and web-connected BrightSign models stream news in text or media-based formats live from the web. Making sure that we have the ticker zone selected, we'll go to our media window and again navigate to our Quick Start content folder. We'll then drag this text file to the playlist. BrightSign will now run this text file content across the bottom of our presentation where we have position zone 3. For live feeds from the web, we can simply enter the address to an RSS feed. These can be readily found with a simple search on the web covering almost any topic or major website we would like to pull news from to display on our screen. If we're happy with our multi-zone presentation, we can now publish it to our SD card, and we're all set.